B1 English Test GESA Grade 5 Trinity College London For indefinite leave to remain in the UK Permanent Settlement British Citizenship Naturalization and Permanent Residency Self-Secure English Language Tests This is Trinity College London GESE Graded Examinations in Spoken English My name's Angelina I am your interlocutor today What's your full name? My name is Asad Salam What's your topic's title for today? Uh, hobby. What are your five topic points? Uh, traveling. Uh, shopping. Internet browsing. Listening to music. And going out with friends. All right. Could you please tell me about your recent experience when you met your friends? Yeah, it was like two days ago. We went to an Arabian restaurant. We had some nice traditional Arabian food over there. The ambience was really nice and we enjoyed our food and time over there. Okay, all right. Do you think it is important to meet friends? So that is very important to meet friends because it gives you the time to like relax your mind, chill out and take your stress away from the busy and hectic life of these days. All right. Okay. Uh, what activities do you usually enjoy doing with your friends? Uh, normally we like going out, eating out, like talking to each other, having a nice laugh, talking about different things and about our daily life, how's work, how's university, how's blah, blah. All right, what kind of music do you like? I like basically all kinds of music, ranging from like traditional Indian Pakistani music, Pahani music, Punjabi music, and then English music as well, from classic to rock. Okay. Do you like going to music concerts? Uh, yes, I do. Tell me about your experience of going to a music concert. Uh, the last time I went to a concert was probably last year. And it was jam packed and people were just enjoying this and it was a blast all right could you tell me about your favorite shopping center where you often go uh the favorite shopping center is westfield it's just about 10 minutes away from my home quite a big enormous mall so i like going there and hanging out with friends also and go to shop different things All right. Okay. And what do you usually browse on internet? So I normally browse different movies. I do my research on different topics and I like watching like documentaries. All right. Could you tell me about any documentaries that you have seen recently? Yes, the recent documentary I watched about was Himalayas, how the life ranges from from the differs from the city life to the life in high up in the mountains. So that was the last thing I watched. Okay, all right. And uh, uh, have you ever traveled by water transport? Yes. I have only traveled once by water transport that was going from England to France. It was about a two hours ferry and I really enjoyed it. Okay, what are the most popular means of transport in your country? The most popular one is bus and train. So people often commute by train and bus. It, it is it is used within the cities and going from like 
to different countries in Europe as well. Spain is like basically everywhere is Spain over here. Where would you like to travel in the future? Uh, the first one on my list is Amsterdam. Okay. Do you think traveling is a good hobby? If yes, why? It is. So the reason of it being a good hobby is you get time off work, so you should travel and explore different places, cultures, and meet new people. And it gives you a whole new, like, idea about how the world works. All right, all right. So do you feel sometimes that browsing internet could be very addictive? Well, there are both sides of the coin, so as long as you keep that in check and set set yourself boundaries, like this is the time I've only got like two hours, three hours in a day where I can be browsing and I have to utilize my other time as well. Whereas if you don't set no boundaries and do it all day long, then it can become a problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the end of part one. Now part two, we are going to have a conversation about an experience when you had to cancel a plan because of bad weather. Could you share an experience with me? Uh, recently, I booked a QV test that was a driving practical test. So it was raining outside, so I had to cancel the QV test because it was raining really heavy. So I had to postpone it and it was like quite stressful because I was waiting for it for like two, three weeks and mm -hmm. I paid for it, then I had to postpone it. All right. And what's the weather usually like in your hometown? Well, usually it's cold and wet. So, and it can be windy at times. So mm -hmm. for the most part of the year, it's quite cold. Okay, all right. Uh, could you please tell me about your favorite time of the year when the weather is pleasant? It has to be summer, ranging from about June to July, August. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's my favorite part of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. That's fantastic. So could you ask me two questions about my plans when it was raining or when the weather was bad and I had to cancel a plan. The topic is same, you have to ask me two questions. Okay. So when was the last time you had to postpone something because of bad weather? Uh, that's a very tough question. I don't remember, but I don't think so. Where I live, weather is always very pleasant. When it rains, everyone gets out. So probably, I have never canceled a plan because of bad weather, I think. Okay. So what should I ask next? How's the weather today? Anything, because anything related to weather. Okay. So what's your favorite weather? the whole year? Uh, probably. I love hot weather. I don't like winters and I don't like cold weather. Rainy weather I don't like much. I like hot weather. Uh, so I like hot weather. Thank you. This is the end of first part of discussion. Now we're going to have another discussion uh, about the second topic that is mm, a recent celebration that you have had. Could you share with me? recent celebration to be honest the most recent celebration i done is like an hour ago i bought myself a pizza and some chocolate so for me the recent celebration is that recent celebrations are like big things like either it's a birthday party wedding anniversary um i don't know maybe somebody invited you it's a family get together celebration means a party 
Okay, so I don't celebrate birthdays and I am single as well, so I, and nobody invites me to any parties. That's pathetic. Okay, but well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, all right. Yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, so you have not had any recent celebration, either it's celebrating Eid or maybe celebrating any special day. No special day you have celebrated recently? In the last year, none. Okay, so do you think it is important to celebrate special days in life? I think so. You could like celebrate special days in your life, ranging from personal, like from birthdays to anniversaries and festivals as well, because it's really important to celebrate your culture. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's nice. So what kind of clothes do you usually like to wear when there is a traditional celebration? Uh, I'm basically very vanilla guy, so I like wearing jeans, t-shirts, and basically trainers, simple things. And what kind of food do you enjoy eating on the special days? I like traditional Indian and Pakistani food and I prefer Punjabi food. All right. Would you like to ask me two questions about a recent celebration I've had? Okay. So what was the recent celebration you had? It could be anything from birthday parties, to anniversaries, anything? Well, recently I celebrated, I celebrated something special that was buying a new car. I think that was a really nice celebration. That was my first car that I bought, so I celebrated it with my family. Wow, wow, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And what kind of food do you like having on festivals or traditional days? Mm, probably it's the same kind of food that is cooked by my mother and she doesn't really know how to cook like other cuisines. So she only cooks traditional Pakistani food. So I enjoy eating that. Do you know how to cook? Uh, no. That's the downside. Okay. Yes, I don't know. How to cook. But three questions are over. I don't know how to cook and uh, that is very sad sometimes when I'm teaching. My tea is there and it's burning and everybody calls me, come, 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 take your tea. So I think I, I'm I'm not present in the kitchen. That's the thing. Actually, that's not the worst thing. As long as you're earning money, you can always order food. Uh, no, but I have my mother who cooks for me. So I think that's, that's everything that a person needs. Good food cooked by the mother. I think so. that's, okay. that's a blessing, I believe. It's very amazing. Yeah, but your mother's not going to be around forever. Uh, who knows? Yeah, someday you would have to cook your own food. So. Uh, that day is not today. <laughs> right. So let's, uh, yeah. yeah, so I feel relieved because that day is not today. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions, do not ask me because time is up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. So I think you're going to do a great job. You're going to get a distinction and you're very, very good. You're very confident. Your Lexus, like your lexical resource, it's very, very strong. And besides okay. that, you're very good at grammar also to some extent and phonology is brilliant. So you're going to get a distinction in this test. You don't have to worry about it. 